Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Sunday, the 4th of October, 2020. We're so delighted to have you in this first blessing, first Sunday of the month of October, and of course, invariably our Blessing Sunday. And I know that the blessings being unleashed today will take you through to the very end of this year in the name of Jesus. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is Deadly Enemies of Destiny. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk it about seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Thought for the day. An enemy not defined can never be dealt with. An enemy not identified can never be defeated. We saw in our studies yesterday that Satan fights a God-given purpose through deadly enemies of destiny. Now, today, we shall identify some of these enemies of destiny. This is because an enemy that is not defined can never be dealt with. An enemy that is not identified can never be defeated. Now, what are these enemies of destiny? What are the things that fight the purpose of God for your life? They are, number one, the lifestyle of disobedience or rebellion to God. It is not possible to be rebellious and fulfill destiny. Genesis chapter 3 verse 23 to 24. Remember Adam and Eve. The second is the spirit of fear. Job chapter 3 verse 25. The fear of the unknown, the fear of the future, and the fear of failure are the three fears that make people become what they were not meant to be in life. Number three is the lifestyle of greed, the love of money. The lifestyle of greed and covetousness is a destroyer of life and destiny. It destroyed Judas Iscariot in Acts chapter 1 verse 15 to 21. Fourthly is a lack of self-control or self-discipline. A life of indiscipline is a destroyer of destiny. A man who cannot control his life cannot control his destiny. Genesis 25, 34. Remember Esau. And then number five is the, is the spirit of depression and discouragement. The spirit of depression and discouragement makes people not to fulfill the plan of God for their lives. You see that in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 4. Beloved, to be successful on earth, you must be deliberate in de dealing with these enemies of destiny. Remember this, beloved, that an enemy that is not defined can never be dealt with. An enemy that is not identified can never be defeated. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, carefully assess your life to identify the presence of any of these enemies in your life. Number two, surrender yourself to God and ask for the grace to live above every enemy of destiny so that you can fulfill your God-given purpose on the earth. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for showing me the deadly enemies of destiny. I receive the grace to deal with them. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. Those enemies have held you down for many years and you are not born again yet or you have backslidden from your relationship with God. You'd like me to pray for you. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I'll live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And wow, today is your birthday, the 4th of October. Praise God. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious unto you. And God grant you peace and victory and success. This be the best birthday of your life. 
and in the name of Jesus, before this time next year, you will be here back with a testimony of a pack full of blessings in Jesus' name. Praise God. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today in Jesus' name. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence.